I'll play the clip in just a moment. Joy Behar, Joy Blowhard, one of the hosts over at The View. That's that daytime talk show for divorced Democrats who are living off of their ex-husband's money. She counted her chickens before they were hatched on Friday, resulting in one of the most hilarious and epic fails of the entire year. Here's the producer interrupting her live on the air to bring her some breaking news that's going to finally bring down President Trump once and for all. Welcome back to the show. Breaking news. Oh, my God. Oh, breaking news. ABC News Brian Ross is reporting Michael Flynn promised full cooperation to the Mueller team and is prepared to testify that as a candidate, Donald Trump directed him to make contact with the Russians. Yes! <laughs> Yay, the nightmare is finally over. We got him. The only problem, as you may have heard, is that this was fake news. And Brian Ross got suspended for a month with no pay. And ABC issued a retraction and an apology. And it had become the laughing stock of the internet this week. In reality, Trump did not direct Michael Flynn to reach out to the Russians before the election. Allegedly, he may have had him reach out to the Russians after the election, which would have been part of Michael Flynn's job, thus starting the diplomatic groundwork for the new coming administration. And while Michael Flynn did plead guilty to lying to the FBI, the Trump team actually fired him because he said the same lie to them. And by the way, he lied about something that wasn't even a crime, so he basically just dug his own grave. Oh, but gets even better, not only did Joy Blowhard and everybody at The View fall for ABC's fake news, which they didn't retract for several hours, fake news, by the way, that caused the stock market to drop 350 points because Wall Street traders started fearing that Trump actually may be impeached until, well, they realized that it was coming from ABC, always broadcasting crap. But Joy posted this animated GIF on her Twitter account showing the joyous moment she discovered that President Trump is going to be impeached, saying that Christmas came early. Thank you, Santa. I'm sorry, Joy, but this doesn't look like Christmas. More like April Fools. Take a look at Chuck Todd over at MSNBC get triggered by Leon Panetta, President Obama's former Secretary of Defense, when he says that the Trump transition team probably didn't break any laws by talking with foreign officials after the election. Generally, incoming administrations really do are very careful not to take right. action that could in any way disrupt something that the current administration is doing. This was very unusual. Uh, I, I don't... Whether it breaks the law or not, uh, uh, you, you know, I, I, I think that's probably a stretch. But how is it but different? It clearly breaks the principle yeah. that uh, a new administration refrains from doing anything yeah. that appears to impact on United States policy. And, and look, they... Look at how, the look at how pissed today, off he is. And look at how flavoring his pen around. Uh, uh, doing, uh, uh, there's no question uh. that they were trying to do that. So basically, the Trump transition team were a bunch of overachievers who wanted to get started on the job early to make America great again. And while certainly not breaking any laws, they broke some traditions about not stepping on the toes of the current administration. Oh, no. Oh, by the way, ABC, which is the latest source of this fake news fiasco, recently had to pay a $177 million fine for reporting on previous fake news after they were sued by a meat processing plant in South Dakota. Remember all those stories a few years ago about people eating pink slime? Well, that was fake news from ABC, and they were sued for defamation and had to pay an entire year's profit to the meat processing plant. <laughs> and speaking of fake news, I hope you guys will pick up my new book, The True Story of Fake News, How Mainstream Media Manipulates Millions. And if you think that I'm just a loudmouth, sarcastic YouTuber who likes to roast the liberal lunatics, you're going to be in for quite a surprise when you see how serious and how thorough it is. So I hope you guys will check it out. Get it in paperback on Amazon.com. Click the link in the description below. It'll take you to the page, or you can download the ebook onto your tablet, onto any of your e-reading devices. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe here if you're new. Check back tomorrow for a new report, and I'll see you soon.